Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to place a bunker well and then also how to disguise its location. So to start off, uh, these are the materials we're going to be using. Um, we've got, uh, if we go to the objects, we can actually see what they are. We've got bunker, we've got grass 1, 2, 3, 4, and boulder 1, 2, and 3. So, to start off, let's just place the bunker. So I'm just going to be using this flat surface to uh, place it. And uh, this is advised for when you're first placing the bunker. You don't have to necessarily always place it on the flat surface, but it is a good idea to start with a flat surface. And we are also near the edge of the boundary, so let's move it in a little bit. Okay, so we have our bunker placed, and it's pretty flat to the ground, and that's what we want. We don't really want to send this underground much more than it is already. So, the next trick about uh, placing these correctly is that you need to lower the ground that is sort of inside the bunker area. And so, the best way to do that is actually use the flatten tool. So, currently it's at 0.5 and that's even with the ground right now. So, what we gotta do is we gotta find a height which is lower than the bottom floor of this. And so I'm going to guesstimate uh, 0.4 will probably do that for us. Might be a little far down. So as you can see, 0.4 is all the way down here. Uh, it probably is a little little far. So let's do 0 0.4. Uh, 4. And let's see how that is. And that's going to be almost right. We need just a little lower than that. So we'll do 0 0.3. And that'll probably be just perfect for us. It'll be just below the uh, bottom floor so we won't see any ground poking through. And so pretty much all we need to do now is to flatten out this area inside so that we can actually go inside the building. So what I like to do is I like to get to the middle and just start you know, flattening out this middle section. And you really don't want to do this very quickly because you don't want to have the lowering of it be seen outside of the boundary of the concrete here that's supposed to hide it. So it gets pretty tricky here, you know, when you need to figure out, well, I need to lower the ground more, but I don't want it to be seen, so I need to do it very little bits at a time. So right here, as you can see, we obviously need some more ground lowered. So let's move up and let's lower that. As you can see, it was moved. Uh, we need a little more here as well. So let's lower that as well. And we're just gonna slowly just go around and lower this down in the places that it really needs it. Okay, so as you guys may have noticed, uh, now that I've got pretty much all of the inside clear of this uh, the ground we have run into a sort of problem where we've got you know big caverns opening up which we really don't want and you know that's sort of to be expected when you first do this unless you can sort of arrange it perfectly but um, something we might want to do is move this object to the side so the nice thing is, is we can just recover this area over again but what we might want to do is move this entire object bunker to the side a little bit and just match one of those edges first. So obviously I move this back underground and I can fix that here. Okay, this is going to get a little tricky because we got to sort of cover up those areas that we actually uh, flattened or lowered too much. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to want to put this on the lowest setting it already is and we're going to want to sort of you know, move along the side we don't want to cover up too much but we definitely want to seal that gap that we created Okay, so I finally uh, fixed this edge, 
and you know this is sort of tricky work it really is you sort of just gotta mess with it until it sort of fits so there's not really any other better way to do this besides just sort of tweaking it and tweaking it until you can get it just right also over here you see I've got a little extra room I'm going to move this over we're still fine on this edge but what that allowed me to do is just cover up this edge just as much as I needed to so the only edge I'm really working on is this one right here and that should be pretty simple alright so that should uh, do it for us we've got this entire bunker and it is underground now when it comes to uh, disguising it there's a few things you can do um, some of them you don't even have to mess with those objects over there so we will be using those but uh, one of the first things that you can do right away to sort of hide this a little better is by just moving it down and what this sort of does is those edges that you have successfully covered over it'll just put this underneath those so obviously over here there's nothing under it so you can't really hide it that way but if you just push it down a little bit it'll hide a lot of that concrete um, the downside to this is you start seeing you know these sort of curved in sections and it's not going to be even all the way around so that is the downside to that but uh, this is a good way to start hiding it now uh, moving on to using these uh, sections over here so we've got this large grass section and you know this is pretty decent to cover things um, I wouldn't suggest it though if you want to cover it on a super flat landscape because the problem with this is that it's raised up and it doesn't look very natural so if you're if you're walking around in the landscape and you see you know this weird lumpy piece of grass you're gonna think well okay that's the grass object I know that for sure and they're probably hiding something using that so really you might give it away more than hide it if you use this type of grass but you can definitely use that in uh, more mountainous hilly areas where it's gonna fit in a lot better but on a flat plane you're gonna want to use this uh, flat piece of grass which is uh, I think it's grass number two yeah grass number two and so the best way to use this is to just place it down on the ground and you're gonna want to sort of checkerboard this fill in all the areas with this flat piece of grass object. So I'm going to also lower it down a little bit, get it to blend into the grass a little more. So I'm just going to copy paste this piece of grass and sort of drag it over, uh, fit the edges nicely together, and uh, sort of continue this till the whole thing is covered. And in fact, I can select a whole section here and copy and paste it across. Now of course this is not going to be perfect as you can already see uh, this grass item is sort of a different color I think from the, the grass that's already there. And also if you start getting overlapping segments they start doing this uh, weird glitchy thing where, where they're sort of overlapping so it's not perfect but it, it'll do the job to some extent. Now of course you want to leave this bunker door open otherwise the player themselves won't be able to get in so you're pretty much not going to be able to disguise the hole completely but you can do a decent job by putting you know this grass fake grass cover over it now this by itself is not really going to fool anybody just because it does look quite different and you can you can tell pretty quickly that you know it's not actual grass here so something that you probably want to combine with it is you're probably going to want to put some natural objects onto it such as some grass and some uh, other resources so you can actually put trees on top of this so uh, that's a good way to disguise it uh, sort of place trees on it similar to the surrounding landscape of course you're not just going to want trees on there you're going to want you know the surrounding area to have trees as well and I'm just choosing birch just because it was you know one of the first ones there but if you sort of blend the trees in well enough um, from the side and from below it will be pretty hard to see it'll just look like you know another patch of grass another thing that you can do is you can put a bunch of bushes on it um, this will definitely hide the color of the grass a lot better um, especially around the edges where it uh, connects to the other grass 
if you put bushes I wouldn't cover it completely because then it'll make it look you know unusual but definitely put some bushes around there if you want to disguise it in that way and also putting bushes around the entrance to the bunker is a good idea as well though you do want to be careful of having bush leaves you know going inside it unless you're just doing that on purpose for decoration who knows you may be wanting to have that sort of feel so let's just put a couple more bushes around and then fill the surrounding area with some bushes and then see how natural it looks all right that's pretty good for the amount of bushes uh, around it so from far uh, it's pretty hard to tell you know that there's a bunker there um, as you get closer it is still pretty hard to tell the bushes cover it up really well even as you get right about on top of it if you're not really paying attention you won't really notice that that grass is a different color so obviously if you get to this point you might notice you know this grass is you know either a little glitchy because you got this little texture glitch where they're going into each other or that it's not the right color so of course it's not perfect they will be able to find it you know if they put themselves in the right circumstance but it'll definitely help disguise it especially you know even just from here it's pretty hard to tell that there's a bunker right there another thing you can do to make it a little more natural is maybe put some animal spawns maybe some deer maybe some wolves uh, that would be a good way to keep players away from this area wolves are pretty dangerous so if you put a bunch of wolf spawns around your bunker you know they would definitely have to fight their way in instead of just you know wandering upon it also if you put deer spawns like directly on here it'll make it seem a lot more natural especially if there's other deer around the area so it'll seem like you know a natural grassy area instead of the fact that you're hiding something now of course you can use these same strategies with uh, dirt because there is the same uh, super flat dirt object as well um, there's also the lumpy dirt object here and that would probably only be very good for uh, lumpy and hilly uh, terrain sort of um, but we do have these rocks over here and something that people like to do a lot is sort of embed rocks around their bunker and this works uh, this is fine um, the only problem with it is if the only rocks on your map happen to be around your bunker putting rocks around your bunker may let people know that you're hiding something so the only thing to consider with you know putting putting any of these details around your map is make sure that it blends into their surroundings because if it sort of sticks out as the only area with trees of that type or the only area with you know big boulders of that type people are going to realize that you know the map maker was actually hiding something in this area so boulders, you know, is it's not a bad idea, but I wouldn't put the only source of boulders, you know, around your uh, your bunker here because people are going to realize pretty quickly that they're just trying to hide something. Now, of course, if you have a lot of boulders in your forest in general and you just put a few more, you know, in here to fit the theme, it will do a very good job of hiding it as well. Um, it would just be another block of that color, pretty much. The only thing that's going to really distinguish this area from the rest of the grass is the different color. And so anything to break up that color, make it seem a little more natural will help of course. Let's say that you wanted to hide your bunker in, in a hilly area. So you know, up to this point I've been sort of focusing on you know, what if you want to hide your bunker inside a flat plain or a forest or something like that. Well it gets a little different and a lot trickier really when you're trying to hide it inside like a mountain range or something like that so of course this area down here has to be at a certain level so that the people can actually get inside the building so if you're gonna be doing it in a mountainous area or something like that you need to make sure that you do have some sort of flat valley to build in but that doesn't necessarily mean you can't uh, build these inside those uh, mountainous areas. So what you're going to want to do if you're going to be build building them in there is find an area that you want to have these in and then make sure you build the mountains around this area. Make sure you reserve the room that you're going to need to allow the players to get inside those sections of, of the bunker. And then of course the only other thing to realize with this is you can use the same strategies by putting you know the fake grass around it, covering it with trees, bushes, stuff like that. But you can also really just blend it into the surrounding. You want to make sure that you don't just have you know random flat 
ditch or a random hole in the middle of your mountain because that's also going to seem suspicious to players that are playing on that map. So really the main thing to consider when uh, trying to disguise these is trying to make it you know fit into the surroundings, make it look natural and you know that's going to be you know based on your preference really as a builder of how you want to do that. Everybody's going to do it differently. You just got to make sure that you know you do it well enough to where you're satisfied with the results. So anyway guys that's generally how uh, you can hide these bunkers and place them correctly. Um, hopefully this answered all your questions and um, cleared up you know any ideas or strategies that you were planning to hide them with. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you did please like it and subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.